St. Econ's has always been uh, at one of the centers of the church. We have different kind of services that we offer, uh, not only through the liturgy, like we say that they celebrate every day, but also through the work at the seminary that the monks have been doing since the inception of the seminary in 1938, when it was founded by Archbishop Arseni, the, the builder of the monastery. Also, the monks uh, also travel. Some of them do uh, give lectures and, and give retreats. Uh, for many years, I traveled with the mission choir raising funds for the seminary. Um, also, the monks are involved in um, different work of, of, of uh, kind of upkeep, keeping uh, our repositories and our museums uh, clean and uh, making sure that the icons are in good shape and that uh, we're kind of caretakers of all the treasures that St. Tikhon's has. There's so many different um, kind of cultural and historical monuments that we house here at the, at the monastery. Um, that work is, is, is very difficult sometimes just to kind of the upkeep of the property. We have almost 300 acres. Um, it's not exclusively the monasteries, but uh, it's shared by the monastery and the seminary. So the upkeep of a couple hundred acres of um, land is, is very difficult in all the things that are housed um, thereon. Uh, monasticism uh, in general for the Orthodox Church is, is uh, at the forefront of the spiritual battle. Uh, it's the, uh, the front runner. Of, of the spiritual life in the church, it kind of plows the way for the rest of uh, the people, the laity and the priests doing the work. The monastics are, are doing the battle on the spiritual level, uh, whereas sometimes the, the priests and the uh, laity do more of the, the physical uh, battling for the kingdom where they set up churches. Uh, whereas a monk, uh, his, his entire work is, is consecrated to prayer. And it's through the prayers of the saints and through the monastics who offer um, their life and sacrifice to the Lord uh, that the Lord uh, bestows his benediction and his blessing upon the work that is done by everybody else. So really, uh, monasticism here is, is exemplified uh, through the liturgical life that we have here and through the daily life of prayer that each monastic uh, has in his own cell. Uh, the, the, the liturgy has been celebrated here almost daily since 1905, so for almost 105 years. Uh, the liturgy has been offered up and it, and it becomes a, really source, a real source of power. There's such a kind of forward movement of strong, powerful spiritual energy that's, that's uh, uh, blessing and, and benefiting um, all America. Uh, this kind of power and strength that comes from the prayers here uh, is incalculable and it's inestimable. Uh, the, the value of it is hard to, to understand. Uh, but really when, when we uh, begin to understand it, we begin to uh, really kind of tap into the mystery of, of the spiritual world, which is, is present among us, but the uh, effects often are not uh, always seen immediately. More recently, we've been uh, involved in work with a candle factory. We have our own candles now that we're offering uh, hand-dipped 100% beeswax candles that we're offering for the, the church in America to use um, for, for, for worship. Those are available at the bookstore. Uh, well, St. Tikhon's, we have our own hives, so we produce uh, quite a bit of honey. The monastery is often kind of akin to a, a hive, you know, because there's always so much activity. So usually when when we see uh, maybe um, different bees kind of gathering, just kind of spontaneously creating a hive at a monastery, uh, which has happened, um, I've seen before at, at uh, different monasteries, uh, it's, a, it's a very good sign. It's a sign of God's blessing upon uh, uh, the monastery. Uh, because of course bees are, are such hard workers and also there's a, a sweetness there that comes from their work that, that we partake of. We've also been doing more work in the bookstore lately with uh, getting some of the publications back um, on the shelves, um, doing some different writings, um, eventually going to be publishing some, some more work, some new work, some much needed work in the area of translation and anthologies. We publish CDs. Uh, we're in the middle of, of doing different kind of music projects right now with the Orthodox Two-Part Music. Um, there's a website that's available, orthodoxtwopartmusic.org. Um, and all the CDs that go along with that, we're in process with that. Uh, so the, the activities of the monastery are, are varied and there's many of them that go on. We also have a parish here. The parish has been here since the monastery has been here. So we have parishioners, uh, we have different hierarchical uh, events that happen here, whether it's the Holy Synod meetings occasionally or um, different conferences that the seminary and monastery either puts on or supports or, or helps with. 
Uh, so the work here is great and uh, the need is great as well for, for people to, to come to help uh, not only with their hands but also through their prayers, uh, through their donations and uh, through people actually coming and, and, and uh, living here and giving their lives here as, as monastics and uh, teachers and workmen in the Lord's Vineyard at St. Tikhon's. We recently remodeled um, some of our houses to en enable us to house visitors. These uh, guest houses are, are open to the general public. Everybody is welcome to come. Uh, to the monastery to visit for several days if they wish. Um, they just have to contact us by phone uh, or by email and we are open to um, their visit and we would be glad to have uh, anybody uh, come to visit with us and stay with us and to uh, find uh, a, a greater closeness to the Lord and to really experience the monastery as, as it is uh, on the inside. Um, and it's important for, for everybody in the church in America to know that uh, this place is their home. You know, this place is theirs. It's not just the monks, it's, it's our monastery, the Orthodox, uh, all of the faithful uh, in the American Orthodox Church. It's, it's our monastery and it's a place where all of us can come to, to stay, to pray, and to be uh, renewed. And so these guest houses are, are precisely um, our invitation to the general public, uh, especially the Orthodox faithful, to, to come to visit with us, to come to receive um, traditional monastic hospitality. And, and to know that uh, there is a place for them, uh, that they are welcome uh, at the monastery, uh, that the door is always open, that there's always food on the table, and that all are, are welcome to come to be with us and to uh, experience um, our Lord Jesus Christ in, 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 the, in His church.